Find me ten million dollars if I'm late. Okay. Okay, Barry. You guys ready for another adventure? Technically, we do have our own Pokemon. We have a lot of Pokemon. Odd. Wait, do I need to go up to his room? Hello, Barry's mom. Barry's mum. Ten thousand million trillion gajillion bazillion dollars. <laughs> oh, so much money, bearer. You know, I never really took the time to think about this. He's a Pokemon professor, but he's not exactly, um... I don't think he does the same thing here that they do in Kanto. You know, where they kind of give out the f the trainer's first Pokemon. I, I don't think that's a thing they do here. I was also just thinking about this yesterday. I really hope they change Pokemon going forward. Like, 
I'm not saying make it a Sims character creation or anything, but we're always t like I, I can speak for myself at least. I'm sick and tired of always being saddled with these children characters. I'm 40. Let me be a 40 year old grown ass man running around collecting Pokemon. <laughs> I guess each one has to have a story. <laughs> it's dawn. Dawn of a new era. There's a lot of talking you guys are doing. You know, in the earlier days of Pokemon, we were like already on to the next town by now. It's one of the things that really irked me about Pokemon, like going forward beyond the Kanto region is each game got progressively more and more dialogue heavy. It's like, just let me go, man. I'm gonna go with my main man, Turtwig, of course. <sighs> do, 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 do. Turtwig, let's go. Ho, ho. Let's go out into the world, explore it together. We will conquer this region, then the war, Earl. <laughs> Pokemon battle is? Son. You live in their world. How can you not know that? Scratch. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Oh, I missed. Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum had some of the best music of the series. The trainer battle theme from Diamond and Pearl is my absolute all-time favorite. That is... that's my jam. It's definitely a bop, as the young people say. It's, uh, really good. Running shoes! Chiss. <laughs> I still don't know what that's from. I can't remember. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and pop a save. That way, if anything happens, we don't lose our actual save file that we've started. Now, I know we're not technically done with Pokemon Soul Silver yet. But I wanted to really get this file going and I wanted to play something that was a little more casual since I'm up so early today. Um, I'm going to be up early pretty much for the rest of the week. I, I have appointments and things to handle this week that require me to be up during the day. Oh wait, you wanted to go to the lake, right? right let me take haircut to the lake real quick and then we'll uh, be on our journey.
Now the opening for Platinum was a lot different than the opening for Diamond and Pearls. In Diamond and Pearl, we came here first to the lake where Professor Rowan and Dom were standing together. And uh, he forgets his briefcase and we end up needing to open the briefcase and, and use the Pokemon to protect ourselves from a wild Starly. Or a couple of wild Starly, I think, that pop out. Okay, accent balls. We're free! We don't need to hold his hand anymore. You think we'll see a... Uh... Hmm. Gonna be a yawn heavy day. You think we'll see a Starly first or who's gonna watch it first? It's a Starly first! Bidoof, that's who I'm thinking of. Bidoof and Starly! Bit of slow, a little slow going at first, but uh, we will get there. <laughs> we need to start doing wild battles more than we usually do. Usually, in these Pokemon playthroughs, I kind of zip through and I don't do a lot of wild battles, but also. If you are catching this playthrough and you haven't seen any of my other playthroughs, let me mention this real quick. Yes. I have played all these Pokemon games on the channel before, but those playthroughs no longer exist. I opted to redo them because better quality microphone, face cam, this go around. And I was kind of a, a, a somewhat of a zombie back in the day. I, I'm more alert and present now when I do these playthroughs. And we didn't really explore every nook and cranny of these Pokemon games. We just kind of shot through the eight gems of the Elite Four and then called it a day. This go around, I wanted to actually take the time to explore caves and whatnot and really kind of get in there and, and squeeze every penny and every little bit we could out of each playthrough. I'm still not upholding to that as much. There's still some things that I need to go back and do before we move into the black and white era of our playthroughs. Um, Pokemon Platinum is kind of where we're going to stop for now until I can get fully caught up. We still need to go back and do the contest stuff for Pokemon Sapphire. There's still some caves in Johto worth exploring on top of needing to catch Entei. And we're still right in the middle of Gym Leader uh, rematches. And then we need to fight Red. So we're not totally completely done with the past games, but we're getting there. It's just about a steady onward march. But uh, the way that YouTube works and the way that playlists work, you may have stumbled upon this playlist and decided to watch it uh, as a standalone playthrough. Maybe you haven't seen the others. Um, if that's the case, that's kind of what's going on with those. Of course, I have the modern playthroughs as well. Let's go Pikachu, Pokemon Sword, Brilliant Diamond, Legends Arceus, Violet. <laughs> of course, you know, I... I have the modern Pokemon playthroughs on, on my channel as well. You can look those playlists up and enjoy. Now, the only thing is the Pokemon from anything prior to the Switch are kind of locked into my PC because I use ROMs and emulators to play the older games. So I don't really have a way of porting those Pokemon forward in mass. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I, I have to send one file at a time to my buddy and he puts it on his uh, 3DS that's hacked and then he sends it forward through Pokemon Bank 
It's a very tedious process to send anything forward, so I don't bother sending stuff forward. To my current uh, living decks that I have uh, in Pokemon Home, it's just from Let's Go Pikachu forward. And to be honest, I kind of like it that way. Um, so many of my Pokemon came from my Pokemon Sword playthrough, and I like having as many under one trainer ID as I can. Kind of hoping in the future, Game Freak kind of consolidates that down to uh, just okay. Here's your trainer. Here's your trainer name. Here's your trainer ID, and you can use it across all the games. That would be nice instead of having a different trainer ID every time you play a new game. That would be cool. But I don't know if they'll ever get around to implementing that kind of system. I would. But you never know. Get all this tutorial stuff out of my way. Get all of tutorial stuff out my way. And we gotta run back and tell Ma. Hey, Ma! I'm leaving town. They also added a lot of snow to Platinum that wasn't in Diamond and Pearl and they kind of overhauled our clothing. So the logic here is that the Sinnoh region is kind of uh, a little far north, kind of in the northern area of, of the country. Um, I think that's all we needed to do was talk to her. Do, 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 do. Darlie or Bidoof, which one will it be? Starly again. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we made it through without another. Wah, 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 wah. Go ahead and do this. I uh, I don't think we'll have any issues. I don't think we'll faint, but if we do, I don't want to have to start over from the house. I want it to put me back here. Dawn. Dawn of a new era, Dawn. I did go talk to my... Aw, oh, shit. That wasn't my house. That was Barry's house. Son of a bitch. I'm so accustomed to that. Red's house is on the left. Blue's house is on the right. I got it backwards. Me. Yeah, that's right. Our house is down here. <laughs> I hate this tutorial crap. <laughs> okay. All right, we have our running shoes, our journal. I never kept a diary or a journal as a kid. I tried once, maybe twice, but I'm thinking just once. It didn't go past a day. <laughs> I just, I couldn't be bothered. Nothing grandiose happened to me as a child. I lived a very average kid life. I played with my toys. I played video games. I ran around, played outside. Kid stuff. <laughs> and really... I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything. I uh, I didn't have the same like kid experience that a lot of kids have, despite living like in, in a neighborhood in the suburbs. My mom was very 
adamant about me not getting on my bike and just taking off through the neighborhood. She never allowed that. Um, when I was a little, little kid, like five, six years and under, um, we had a, we lived in a trailer park and we had a fenced in front yard. I wasn't allowed to go out of that fence. And of course we moved into the suburbs into an actual house. My parents bought a house. Um, when I was around five, six, somewhere in there. And uh, we didn't have a fenced in front yard at that point, but uh, she still wouldn't let me like wander off too far, you know? Um, but still. Doom, 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 doom. Crooked head. Many years ago, we uh, we had this one cat, a wild cat, you know, in the neighborhood. It, it wouldn't let anybody come near it. It was uh, I think it had a stroke, cause its head was kind of permanently tilted like that. These dogs are barking at. They always wait till I, I go live to want to start their barking fits. Probably a cat or something out there. Yeah, I wonder what if I have no crooked head. Five Koopa Balls. How gracious of you. Wink, wink, wa, woo, wheedly, woo, wa, woo, wee, wee, woo, wa. Finally. We're getting out of terror, out of, uh, tutorial territory. Wow. Brain, get it together. All right, here we go. Like I said earlier, my all time favorite, uh, trainer music. Let's give it a sh. Let's give it a. Let's boost the audio. You know what I'm saying? That is an absolute 
delight. That was like the best trainer fight music in the whole franchise, at least in my opinion. It's my favorite. I always have a difficult time trying to uh, figure out where the audio level should be for the game for you guys. I mean, I have a little device here that lets me roll the volume for myself, but for you guys, it's a little harder to... A little difficult to parse where it should be. It is. Oh, really? Oh, I don't have any potions. See, now that's odd. Most Pokemon games kind of start you off with a little bit. Okay. Sorry, Bidoof. But me and Churchwig are aiming for the Sturge. Gonna whoop that ass. I do need to heal. And buy potions. I will check our PC while we're here too. Sometimes, uh, I think most Pokemon games kind of start you off with potions in your item storage. I don't know if item storage is still a thing in modern Pokemon games. I'd have to go look. I'd have to turn on fire up the old Pokemon Violet and see. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, there's no item storage here. You just have the items that you have. Okay, well, we need to do some shopping then, because I don't have any potions whatsoever. Well, that's all of our money. We have 60 cents left. Oof. The wild Pokemon music is a bop too. It's not my all time favorite, but it is really great. This music is burned. I mean, burned into my brain. Because by the time you got to the Sinnoh region, there were now 493 Pokemon. Which meant no matter whether you were playing on the DS or the GBA games for Fire Red, Leaf Green, what have you. You were spending more time encountering wild Pokemon. Because the Pokemon games were starting to get a little bigger. Just a little bit bigger. Um, a lot of post-leak content compared to their predecessor. Um, more Pokedex pages to fill. So I think we probably spent more time hearing the trainer music and the wild Pokemon music in the central region when, than we had for, you know, Johto, Kanto, and Hoenn. So that wild Pokemon music is kind of burned into my brain.
Wait. Hmm. They kept the day-night cycle, which I'm pretty happy about. I always think that Pokemon works better when the day-night cycle matches up to the real-life day-night cycle. Um... I'm not really a fan of the way it's done in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet where it's just like, I think every 30 minutes it cycles between day and night. I don't like that. I much prefer things to be this way where it's based on your own clock. How did you know? How did you unmask me as a member of the international police? Oh, I, I hate beg your pardon. I was just making conversation. If I guess hey, you claim you're only making conversation, do you? Uh, you better not believe that. No, 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 no. You recognize right away that I was something extraordinary. Mm -hmm. That is why you spoke to me, is it not? Your power of preservation is fierce and quite admirable you are. No, no matter my cover has been blown. Let me introduce myself. I'm the glow treading elite of the international police. Only his code name, Looker. In fact, in Sinnoh, there are criminals stealing the Pokemon of others. <laughs> it's okay. Well, he, um, he's quite the character. Bye, Don. I know more than you, but okay. <laughs> that was another one of the things that irked me about Pokemon. Like, by the time Diamond and Pearl came out, I was starting to get a little older. I don't remember how old I was. I had to be in my 20s at that point. So it's like, I don't really need you holding my hand. I don't need you holding my hand. Of course, I know why they always did it. They did it because there were always going to be a new wave, a new batch of children who were just, were just born, just getting to the age where they had their own DS and 3DS and stuff. So I, always, I get why they always did it. But there's always room for an option to say I'm a returning player that would allow you to skip a bunch of crap. But the tutorials, tutorials were always so interwoven into the story of the game itself that they really didn't bother doing things that way. Now, going forward, I would like to see them kind of to, to do better with that. But... <laughs> School kid. You should probably be studying actual schoolwork instead of having a Pokemon battle with me. I mean, look at me. I screwed up my entire life by not finishing school properly. Is 
same here. Eh. It's it's one of those things where you you wonder where you could be in life. Like what kind of job would you have if you have done better in your youth, you know what I mean? And then I wouldn't be sitting here at 10.46 a.m. on a Monday morning streaming Pokemon. <laughs> but you can always look at that as positive, too. Maybe if I went a different way in life, I wouldn't get to sit here streaming Pokemon. You know what I mean? So it's... Oh, shit. Why is... Ch oh, yeah, I forgot. Chat. There we go. I toggle chat on and off. Chat uh, in Streamlabs OBS, there's an option. Uh, you have to toggle the little option on for chat to stay on screen. Some games I like for the chat to pop up and then go away. Especially like if I'm playing a horror game, I want the box to pop up, show everybody what was said, then fade away. But when we're doing something like this, where we have uh, different sections of the screen, I like for it to stay on, you know. Also, how did her little tiny bidoof do this much damage to Turtway? I don't know. I don't know if I'd be on a boat. I don't like the ocean. Also, I like to think if I were rich, I'd probably be like Bill Gates rich, where I'm not fancy with it. Like, I, I would be a little more humble. I donate a lot of money to causes that are important. To me and to general society I don't know I I wouldn't I wouldn't make a good rich person because I just keep giving away the money because like once you live in poverty for yourself you know once you know firsthand what it's like to not be able to pay your bills or buy groceries when you have to lose sleep at night and get a stomach ulcer over how am I gonna pay my electricity bill or pay rent or any of that stuff anytime anybody experiences that stuff firsthand they're going to be it changes you for life it changes you at your core of who you are as a person so you even if you had money you turn you turn out a little different you don't you're not as opulent with it you're not as flashy with it if you ever do have money because like i we know firsthand i know firsthand what it's like to go grocery shopping and stand there in total embarrassment as you have to put some stuff back. So, yeah. <laughs> oh God, and that's a whole that's a whole other monster. If you have children, children are expensive, and uh, they require constant upkeep: the diapers, the bottles, the formula, just all that stuff. It's a nightmare same with pets too i guess to a lesser extent you don't need diapers and things for pets although some people will burn through a lot of those little puppy pads they put down in their house which i'll be honest with you my parents have used those puppy pads over the years my sisters used them i don't use them i don't think you should i think it's counterintuitive to potty training an animal to go outside in my opinion I, I think you're kind of taking a step back if you train the animal like here's a pad here's where you pee in the corner that confuses them you know what I mean I think you get off your ass and, and take that dog out every 20 minutes until they learn okay this is where I pee but yeah it's I don't know it's cliche, but anytime like a, a youngster pops into my chat, I'm always like, stay in school. You'll regret it if you don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's <sighs> here's the third one. All right, now we're going to take these coupons back to the guy. What, what was that? Oh, that's the, the radio tower. Okay, I was like, what is that? 
dot. Okay. Here you go, sir. Poketch. Pokotech. Poketch Tech. Yeah, it'll, it'll break your heart if you're like in Walmart or wherever shopping and you see a mom trying to buy stuff that she clearly can't afford and it's... And then even if you're broke too, like, you can help, but like, how much can... You can't really help that much. That's like when I woke up earlier. One of the things I, I typically do most days when I get up is I check the news, but since it's the future and it's 2024, Unlike my parents, I don't turn on the television or pick up a newspaper. I go for my phone and I go to threads now that Twitter shot to hell. And I, I read the headlines and I see what's new. Um, and I was reading all this stuff this morning about how uh, fast food chains and Walmart and whatnot. They're talking about trying to make things affordable again. Trying to make value menus at the fast food places available and affordable again. Motherfuckers. You're the ones who raised the prices to begin with. It's your goddamn fault that we can't afford anything. It was price gouging on a global scale that we had never seen before. It was pure evil. There's no other way to put it. It's just pure evil. Like, it goes beyond greed at this point. It's one thing to see a rich man go, ha, 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 I'm greedy. You know, there's plenty of cliche stereotypes, but... The mass level of just price gouging that occurred post COVID. Barry. We have withdraw or absorb now, but it's not really going to help much. I ain't a bird type. Speaking of which. That's what woke me up this morning. There was this loud ass bird right outside the door. Now this never happens, but it landed on the porch railing. Um, and it's, it was so loud. It sounded like it was inside the house. And I got up, went to the bathroom, got me something to drink, you know, took my medication and everything. Then I went and I opened the door and by then the bird had gone. But maybe about 10 minutes later, it came back and I walked over to the door and then there sitting on the, the railing to the steps was this little brown bird. And he looked up at me and he just started screeching at me. <laughs> and I thought, is something wrong? This is like a not typical behavior. So, oh God, yeah. I I remember the days of being able to go in a grocery store with 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars and come out with a whole haul. You can't do that anymore. I don't know what the average price of groceries are now. Because we're cut we kind of survive on scraps these days we haven't been able to full-on buy groceries in a long time here you know at the house we're just kind of surviving on having a sandwich here having a sandwich there whatever you could scrounge out of the pantry um, ramen noodles lately it we're broke as shit I have to imagine everybody else is broke as shit too which is not going to hurt my fat ass to, to, to skip a couple of meals, but it's the principle of the thing. Cereal is how much? Oh, the shrinkflation shit. That's right. I forgot about that. 
we uh, people have made jokes about the the potato chips and the air in the bag for so long because potato chips are sold by net weight instead of by the size of the bag but they make the size of the bag bigger and bigger to make you think you're getting more and more chips even though you're not you're getting the same chips you've always got but then they start charging more I don't know how much more I can take And it's brilliant too because all they have to do is just blame the government. Oh, it's all this politician's fault. It's all that politician's fault. It's the immigrants coming in. It's those damn immigrants are coming in and they're taking your job and blah, 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 blah. You know, all the right leaning bullshit talking points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the only people who are actually trying to help them, you know, Democrats, left leaning politicians who are actually trying to help. They're so villainized and nobody's ever going to trust them. So it becomes self-defeating at the end of the day. People are, because all a politician has to do is just get up on stage and wave a Bible. <laughs> this is not a Bible. This is actually the capture device I use for the switch. I I'm ordered a new one. I'm going to give this one to my friend. Um, this is an older model. It requires uh, a power cord and everything, so it's a lot. The one I ordered is just a small little brick that runs HDMI cables. I don't need to connect a power cord up to it or anything like that, so it's uh, going to be better in the end. But, uh, yeah, for as long as I live, I won't ever understand. Like, I'm personally feel I might be like a little I'm I'm below average intelligence I'm not a smart man but even me at the end of the day I can look at people like the orange buffoon and I can see what he's doing I can see how he's he's getting people going so that he can continue like it, it how do people not see it's a giant scam how do people not understand that they're being played? He's only in it to make himself richer. And how the hell did I faint? Who beat me? Was it Barry? Did Barry whoop my ass? Did I get too sidetracked by talking? No, we beat Barry. It was this jackass trainer right here that whooped my ass. I didn't heal up after fighting Barry, did I? That's what got me. That and the... Zubat. Zubat. And then all these companies will say, oh, it's the cost of production. It's the cost of farming, harvesting, moving, preparing, Packaging, moving, stocking, selling. What in the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. I need to focus. Hang on a minute. Hang, 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 hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That is twice I blacked out because I wasn't paying attention because I was talking. What the fuck is happening? How did this little shit stain knock me out twice? You know what? You know what? We need help. Let's catch a bird. The only way to defeat a bug is with a bird. But yeah. I get that sometimes inflation happens. Sometimes there are things beyond your control, like COVID, but it's, they artificial, not artificial. They raised those prices on their own. They didn't have to raise the prices. They did that to make huge profits. Like if, if anybody's watched me for long enough, they know I'm kind of preaching to the choir. All right. 
Now that's a level four, Starly. Let's see. Because they are weak individually, they form groups. However, they bicker if the group grows too big. Okay. Now let's get you up to snuff. Where are my medicine items? Alright, let's raise this this little guy. Now what my ooh a shinx. Now my plan for today is to do this early stream. Um, I might do a secondary stream this afternoon or this evening. It just depends. This is going to be a hell of a busy week. Um, I've got appointments this week. Um, there's some stuff here at the house that needs to be done. There's a lot of behind the scenes computer stuff that I got to do this week. Um, and I've got that trip coming up in, in early to mid September. So I need to plan some videos to go out that weekend while I'm gone. And that goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Since I've been broke for years and years and years, I, um, I haven't been able to take a trip. No vacations, no leaving town, no leaving the state, no going anywhere remotely fun. I haven't been able to do anything. Like 20 years. So, uh, Tyler and his wife are coming down. They're going to pick me up on my birthday weekend in September, and then we're going to go down to Florida and uh, have myself a little vacation. I'm going to vlog it, of course, as you do, but... Um, It'll be the first time I've been anywhere in a very, very long time. So I'm looking forward to it. I just got to make sure that I maintain a, heat, a healthy sleep schedule between now and then so that I can go. God damn it. These little shits. I need to raise that Starly, you bitch. I am going to have to start, I'm, I think I'm going to have to start pushing the Patreon more. I, I might have to do like a, a subscriber uh, thing on Twitch. Uh, what do they call it? A subathon or something? Because at this point I've got debt, worry and stress out the wazoo and um, might do something about that. It would be great if I could just walk out, walk out there and get a job, you know. But unfortunately, at, at, at the current state of my health, there's not much I can do. Which, ha like, it has me worried about taking this trip, too. I, I'm really worried about my health for this trip because I'm, I don't want to get far away from the house and have some sort of emergency or something, you know. So I, I, I got to... That's why I've been doing things the way I've been doing things recently. I'm cracking down on myself. I'm, I'm trying to have more self-discipline. I'm trying to trying to get my shit together. I'm working on it. Darley versus Darley. Well, Turtwig's at level uh, eleven, so it's not too bad. Could you stop with the growls?
There we go. Little turd. There we go. Okay. Right, we're just gonna do it just a little just a little bit of grinding. Not a lot. Not enough to bore you guys to tears, but enough to get Starly where she needs to be. Now, I haven't ported any Pokemon forward for this playthrough because we're still working on the Pokedex in the past games. So I haven't had the time to really do that yet. Bidoof. Now let's see if we can beat this little shit stain. We don't really have a bird attack yet. Or flying type, I should say. Bird attack. <laughs> Smug face shouldn't do that. Yeah, being smug is, is one of my pet peeves. I cannot stand smug people. And then I sit here sometimes and make a smug face when I <laughs> defeat a Pokemon that gives me trouble. I shouldn't do that. Can't stand schmuckness. You did not take out my turd twig like you did last time. You can get wrecked, you little life leeching son of a bitch. You will not win this time because now I have a bird. Get wrecked, you fuck. You have lost now. All right, we beat the little snot-nosed brat. Little shit. Woo! If I hadn't have been talking and running my mouth, I would have been paying more attention, and I would have caught a star a starly earlier on. We're off to a fantastic start. Shinx. I guess we should probably catch and raise Shinx as well. Shinx is good to have. Luxray is a really good Pokemon. Um, if I don't faint it, we'll catch it. 
I don't get me. A well-rounded early team. Shit. That was not my intent. Let me see if we can catch another one. Or encounter another one. Abra. You didn't get a chance to teleport. I got some free XP out of it. There's wing attack. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Wing attack. Shinks, come on, Shinks. Not Abra again. I don't even, re I don't remember Abra being in this area. Bye. <laughs> Off it goes. Now watch me not be able to find any of those shinks. The minks of shinks. Oh, come on! Enough with the Abra! I don't want to raise Abra. I need the Shinx. Shinx man! Love a Shinx man. We might be here a while. Are we doing this? Is this a thing we're doing? You son of a bitch. Uh, I guess I need a bit of anyway. I can at least start teaching it HM moves. Bit of was really good for HMs because it could pretty much learn them all. Or nearly all. It could learn fly, but... You can learn cut, surf, strength, rock climb. I don't know about flash. Da -da 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 -da. Whirlpool waterfall. A comparison revealed that Bidu's front teeth grow at the same rate as Ratatouille's. Well, one's a rat, one's a beaver, but uh, that makes sense, I suppose. Come on! Yeah, uh, the way they did it in Let's Go Pikachu is that it wasn't necessarily that Pikachu learned the moves. It was like a, a, I think they called it like a hidden technique or something. So like when you went to use Fly, you sat on this little bucket seat and it had a lot of balloons attached to the side of it. And that would let you float up into the air. Um, and I think the other HNs were pretty much the same. Uh, with Surf, you literally got on a surfboard and surfed around. Um, 
I can't remember the others, like strength and all that. I don't I don't remember how those worked out. Um Yeah, they found a way around it with with that. I don't think the HMs are going to be a thing going forward. Because you don't really we didn't use them in Scarlet and Violet. Um I don't really remember using them in Sword and Shield either. They may not have been present in those games. The HMs were always a pain in the ass for everybody. It was a neat concept. Um, it's just, it sucks that you couldn't delete the HM moves. Um, if they had done something a little different in regards to that, then maybe it wouldn't have been quite so bad. Yeah, flying around on Dragonite, Charizard, those were good times. I can't find another Shinx to save my life. I... I don't understand this at all. I'm just going to leave the area and try to hopefully there we go. Jesus Christ. new problem on our hands we finally found a shinx now it won't stay in the pokeball Tackle to your little heart's content, pal. Thought, though. The extension and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when in trouble. My little scarf flying in the wind. I wasn't certain if we fought this guy or not. Bring it in, you little brat. Watch out. Oh, this is a bad matchup for you. Because <laughs> I have wing attack. Although, I guess I should have sent Shinx out first so we could get some XP. I really wasn't thinking about that. Ooh, I could do this, though. Let's 
instead of letting Shinx fight on its own, I'm going to switch out just in case because when any attacks from Machop will cause it to faint. Although he ended up using Leer, so I think we would have been okay. Still. Yeah, we won't hear about the Switch 2 at all this year. I don't think they're going to announce it. I don't think they're going to talk about it, which is fine. I need I need a little bit more time to save up for it. I I, uh, I got to pay off some of my debt first before I can even think about buying another console. I, I do like to watch the indie directs after they've aired. Um, I, was, I was telling Tyler this this morning. Um, what I do is when I watch the Nintendo Indie Directs, I'll take the games that they announce and I'll look them up on Steam and I'll add them to my wish list on Steam because I'm definitely still a PC first type person. Um, if I can get the game on PC, I'm going to do that first and foremost. And if I can't, then I'll get it on the Switch. Of course, that excludes like Switch first party titles. You know, Pokemon, Mario, that stuff's always going to be only on the Switch are only on Nintendo, and that's fine. I'm not referring to that. I'm more like talking about indie developers who are putting it out for all platforms. I'm gonna go PC first. And to be fair, there's a handful of games on my Steam wish list that I didn't know existed until I saw them in a Nintendo Indie Direct, or, you know, or on the Nintendo YouTube channel even. So, there's that. I don't even bother looking at rumors anymore. I the only social media really that I use anymore is is threads and Instagram to a less extent. Like I I don't post to Instagram nearly as much as I did just a few years ago. Um, I I use threads every day, but even even then it's starting to get where I'm not looking at it as much just for my own mental health sake, because I can't stand the dumpster fire that is the world right now. But when I do look at threads, I kind of see more substantiated, like actual news. Like I tend not to follow a lot of individual people who are just throwing around rumors and stuff. So I don't typically see the rumors unless they're mentioned by like a, a larger publication, you know, like an actual news outlet or something. So, I'm not really inundated with all the rumors and it's been that way now i i kind of weaseled my way into that way of living a few years ago i couldn't take it anymore it, it was getting to be such a, a a grind in my head you know ooh, the new rumors of a metroid game oh the new rumors of a pokemon game and everybody would just take one little rumor that the internet spit out and then it was just this non-stop barrage of YouTube videos and tweets and all that kind of stuff. And it drove me batshit insane. I couldn't take it anymore. Because it started permeating my friend groups. It started permeating the, the internet IRL barrier. And it's all I heard about when I talked with my friends in person was, Oh, speculation. Do you know about this? Did you hear about this? They all turned into Jay Leno. Do you hear about this? Do you know about this? I couldn't take it anymore. I was so over it and done. Um, it doesn't mean I don't hear any rumors or speculation. It's just that when I can tell somebody's trying to pass off a rumor as news, I typically just go yawn and ignore it. I want actual substantiated, proven factual news. And a lot of it, I'll be honest with you, a lot of it is strictly because of YouTube. I got burnt out on the quote unquote YouTuber way of doing things. It's something I've been complaining about recently with my Jurassic Park content. Um, I don't want to sit down and make Jurassic Park videos every week that's just talking about, oh, the, here's something we heard about the new movie. Here's something one of the actors said about the set of the new movie. I don't want to make that kind of fake news since uh, um, what sort of look at 
since some what's the word I'm looking for here uh, wow my brain just shut completely down sensationalized there it is like I, I don't want sensationalized nonsense if you have something really like newsworthy to tell me then I'm here for it otherwise I don't care what shoes this actor wore on set for this film. I couldn't be fucked to care. <laughs> you know what I mean? At my age, I've done this 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 song and pony dance now for over 30 years. You know, I've been around for a constant. I've been around for a lot of different console generations. I've been through the, the, the console cycle now so many times that I'm used to it. I'm kind of numb to it. I'm numb to like the rumors and the speculations and the hearsay. And it was fun when I was younger. It really was. It was it's fun to sit around with your friends and speculate on things. It's really fun to have that conversation. Of, Ooh, do you think the new Switch will have this feature? Ooh, I bet it'll have this feature. That is fun to do when you're younger. The older you get, the more you kind of shy away from that. At, at my age, it's more like you're just sitting around with your friends and you're just like, it's, it's the king of the hill thing. You're just like, mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. You're so beat down by the time you're 40 that you just don't give a shit. And that's... I, I just, I, that could just be me. There, there might be a lot of people out there my age who are like, no, we disagree. We are quite happy with our lives and we have 12 panel discussions on a weekly basis about the things we like. And some people do, and that's fine. I'm not shitting on you if you do that. It's just for me, I'm burnt out. I don't want to do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. It's one of the reasons that I opted not to do the uh, Nintendo uh, direct live streams anymore. It was just soul sucking. I couldn't do it anymore. And again, that's no shade at anybody who does. It's just, I couldn't. I will continue to throw shade though at people who do what I said earlier. Um, if you make three YouTube videos a week just because you heard a rumor about something, you're just chasing the algorithm at that point. You're just trying to monetize your shit. And it's like, I don't, we're not going to get along anyway. So, um, I'm having that problem at the moment. Like I said, with my Jurassic Park stuff, I'm trying to, with that Jurassic Park playlist that I have on my channel, I'm trying my best to make good content with it, to make actual content with it. Um, I want there to be a reason that you sit down and turn the video on and and watch through it. You know, I want there to be actual meat and substance to the video. I want the video to be watchable 12 years from now. You know, because if you go in and you make a video that's only relevant about what's happening in the moment, nobody's going to watch that in the future. It, it's not really it's not good archival material. It doesn't stand the test of time. Now, the only caveat to that would be, say, 10, 20 years from now, you want to know what it was like at that time. It's the same reason people watch documentaries. They like to go back and see, ooh, what was happening in, in 1912? Oh, the Titanic sank that year? You know, that can be fascinating, doing a, a, a kind of a deep dive in history like that, but... As a YouTube video, it's not the same. So, uh, I'm trying my best to avoid that. Because I have this Jurassic Park YouTuber that I like, and, and I like his videos and stuff. But the boy puts out too much content. And I know that's rich coming from me, but just, it, it's not, it's, there's not substance to it. It's just a constant barrage of just, it, it's the rumor mill, basically. And I just, over it. 
And I know that's a long-winded way of just saying I'm over it, but it's like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of that could, uh, in hindsight, I'm sitting here thinking about it. A lot of what I've said for the past 20 minutes, it could be more indicative of, of my personality. It could be more of a me thing. It's like I'm, I don't get excited for stuff like I did when I was younger. Of course, a lot of that is informed by the fact that a lot of stuff just sucks ass now. Especially with media, the stuff that we're into, it's not the same as it was when we were younger. And I know that I'm, people are going to come at me. Oh, you're just being old. Am I, though? Is it just like the nostalgia glasses or nostalgia goggles, they call them? Is it rose-tinted glasses? Is that really what's happening? Or are things just shittier than they were when we were kids? Because I'm sitting here playing Pokemon Platinum on stream at the moment. And I'll be honest with you. This game is leaps and bounds better than what's currently available from Nintendo and Game Freak. This game is infinitely better than Pokemon Violet. You know what I mean? We really need to learn an electric attack so we can start lighting these birds up. Yeah, I did get hyped for Metroid Prime 4. And it did shut down a lot of bullshit rumors that we were constantly hearing all the time. We also shouldn't we also shouldn't have had to have We also shouldn't have had to wait as long as we did to get some news about that game's development. That was, um, that wasn't good. Uh, that wasn't good. It wasn't a good look for Nintendo, the way they handled Metroid Prime 4. I do think that it will affect everything going forward in the future. I think that from now on, Nintendo will kind of sit on it until it's to a certain point in development i think they i think they kind of learned a lesson from their announcement of metro because they announced that game back in 2017. is this 18 19 20, seven years it took them seven years to give us a trailer now granted i know it was kind of a special case kind of Maybe the game had to, to be scrapped and retooled and went back to the drawing board, but even still, seven years, no word, no update, nothing. It's gonna be a rough day. I'm already starting to get really sleepy and it's not even noon yet. I'm out of potion. I'm gonna battle this kid anyway. I think this is the last trainer standing between me and the next Pokemon Center, so we should be all right. What's that to do with switching out? Oh, cool. She only has one Pokemon, and it's a Bidu. We should be okay. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be a little bit of a rough one today. It's not even noon, and I'm already dead tired. Of course, I'm not used to the. I'm not used to being up during the day, so that doesn't help. 
I'm just gonna have to soldier, soldier on, power through it. This is tea. I'm drinking tea, but it, it just, it's not, it's not kick. It's not enough caffeine. It's not kicking like a soda does. So I might have to get a soda. I will wrap up the stream probably sometime soon because it's, um, I don't want to run for three hours. Two seems good. Hour and a half to two hours seems good. You're not sleepy. You are not sleepy. I'm sleepy. I'm just gonna use tackle. Absorb's getting me nowhere. Look at that. Look, <laughs> tackle was like instant. I should have been using tackle the whole time. <sighs> Tell you what we're gonna do. We'll go get our first gym badge and call it a day. I do want to come back later this evening with a second stream. I just don't know what that's going to be yet. Hold my hand, hold my hand, despite the fact that I've been playing Pokemon for almost 30 years this point. Yeah, 20, 2025 will be the 30th anniversary of Pokemon. 2025, 30 years, 1995. God damn, we're getting old. All right, let me pop a save. We're not ending. We just haven't saved in a while. <laughs> As far as episodes go, I talked about a great number of things in today's episode, so I keep saying I'm going to avoid politics and it just keeps coming up. I talked about politics, I talked about the economy, I talked about capitalism I talked about the price gouging I talked about a lot today I keep telling myself I need to stop and just focus on the game stuff but you know what I'm gonna stop being so hard on myself about that I'll talk about whatever I talk about hmm mm. I'm also going to be fasting today. Um, I have just a few weeks to lose a good chunk of weight so that I can actually get out on the beach and walk around and not be tired after 10 minutes of walking. I also probably I just need to lose weight in general. It's not healthy. I already have high blood pressure. Like I said, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and they'll, they'll take some blood and run some labs. And the last time they did that was back in February. So since February, I've taken measures to, you know, lose some weight. I started exercising. I walk more than I used to. I'm more mobile than I was back in February. So I'm hoping that when the blood work comes back, there's some improvements there. Um, I know my cholesterol was a little high, so I'm hoping that's come down. Uh, considerably just I really need to just you know keep keep working keep working on the physical stuff and try to improve because the body's not gonna bounce back like it did just a few years ago You know, just a couple of hundred years ago, I'd be considered a senior citizen. People didn't live that long. <laughs> People, we didn't have the advancements we have today. 40 was old back in the day. Like even a thousand years ago, 40 was 
Oh, I got a splinter. I'm gonna die. <laughs> now we have antibiotics, so we uh, we have a better shot of making it to 80. <laughs> oh God, I laugh, but those were dark times. No, I do not want a Geo dude in my face. Do I have any repel? Thank God. I make this a little less of a headache. Do 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 do. Remind me to buy some repels in case I forget. Sport. Learn. Ah, I want you to learn an electric attack, spark, something, anything. Ooh, Razor Leaf. See, Razor Leaf's gonna help with our gym battle. I like the little flash of yellow. Mm, maybe we use Starly for this. She gonna wait until I get sat down and streaming to want to text me about the dogs. I can't help you right now. You'll have to deal with that yourself. Escape route. That repel's gonna wear off two seconds from now before we can get out of here. Oh no, okay, we made it. There it is. I still made it out of the cave. Ooh, I'm glad I walked over here and talked to you. Oh snap. Dire hit. I'm probably just gonna sell that. Um shards, I think the shards go for TMs, right? You give the shards to a guy somewhere and he like makes TMs out of them. I never really gave a shit about the shard stuff. It's too too much of a pain in the ass. Let's heal up then we'll get a gym badge. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yet. Get a shot, shoot. All right. Da -da -da.
Oh, my jaw's bothering me. It feels like it needs to pop, but it's not. It won't pop. Well, this is not a great matchup. I'll be more awake when I get out of the chair because I've been sitting here a while. I was sitting here a good hour or two before I went live. I was working on a lot of stuff this morning. would really cut through this gym. Hmm. And we so will raise the leaf, but with Iron Tail, we can at least get the experience points for uh, Shinx not having to switch out. Same for Steel Wing, I guess. Gym, being a gym leader would be really fun. I think we all wanted to be a gym leader at one point. Mr. Jim Leader. Roark. Is that Roark? Roark? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Also really earlier I talked about how much I love the trainer battle theme from uh Diamond and Pearl. The gym leader music might be the best too. Dun 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 I did not mean to use tackle
Dun, 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 dun. There's Lewis, our friend. He is awake and he's here to watch us clear this gym. Hello. Sorry, I snuck an early, I snuck an early stream in on you, didn't I? Yeah, this came out of left field. Sorry about that. I just, I gotta be up days now for a while, and I, uh, I wanted something to do. I was like, you know what? Let's stream. By the way, I have not stopped streaming on Twitch altogether. I know that you guys have probably noticed that I'm streaming a lot more on YouTube lately. Um, I am going to keep streaming on Twitch. It's just going to be a, a lot of back and forth between Twitch and YouTube. Um, more people watch on YouTube. More people find the channel and subscribe on YouTube. YouTube's algorithm actually puts me in people's feeds. Twitch doesn't do any of that. Twitch gives me the middle finger and expects me to just exist. You know what I mean? So, uh, I haven't really felt incentivized lately to, to bother streaming on Twitch. I'll be honest with you. I can't get my username back. I'll always have to be, I'll stuck being Chosen Lore HD. I'll never be able to just be Chosen Lore. The algorithm doesn't put me in people's feeds. And it's one of those deals where you are a minnow in an ocean. Like I, the sheer mass volume of people on Twitch at any given time doing what I'm doing at the moment is staggering. So it's kind of pointless. But uh, I'll keep trying. Doesn't mean I want to give up. It just means I'm having a moment of like, uh, <laughs> you know. All right, this Kranidos is giving me a real run for my money here. Ooh, and that was a critical hit. Learn electricity. You stank, bitch. You guys also need to help me come up with what we're going to do for a 500 subscriber special. Because I have no idea. I I'm out of ideas. We <laughs> for my 100th special, 100 subscriber special, we played Metroid Prime through with the fusion suit. For 300, we did a big grand Pokemon giveaway and... We didn't really give any Pokemon away. I think we gave one or two away. I don't know what I'm going to do for 500. It used to be something different than the first two. I want it to be something different every time. I don't want to fall in the habit of just repeating myself. We also need to do a patron stream this week. Maybe two. It depends on how the, the stream goes. We're playing Pokemon Red Plus Plus on the uh, patron side. It's a ROM hack. It's pretty fun. Um, we're up to the Pokemon League now, so we do our next patron stream is going to be pretty uh, pretty intense because we're going to be fighting the Elite Four. Okay. All right, Bidoof. You need to learn some HMs, pal. <laughs> You need to learn rocks. There we go.
course, we can't really head north or east because we don't have a bike and we can't get up the stiff incline. So we'll have to backtrack a little bit here. We still, still don't have an electric attack. Do I have any actual TMs that will be good for Shinks, actually? Let me look and see. What do we have? No, not really. Not really. Ponyta, the community day Pokemon for September. That's going to be an interesting community day. I thought you were going to use the Ember, but okay. Look how much damage return did. Whoa. Okay. Maybe we should grind some Ponyta for a bit. Ponyta. Geodude. You're not a good matchup. All right, screw it. We'll 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 level up as we go. Who is at the museum while we're here? This is where we bring the fossils to when we actually have one. I like that each uh, each display case that we look at has different texts for us instead of it just being the same. Deep underground, the plant matter was... Oh, we're reading them out of order. Hang on. Our coal is made one. In a time long before history... <laughs> yeah, we shot up, didn't we? 526. Vegetative matter was swept along by rain and rivers. It came to be buried underground. The buried plant matter was forced even deeper underground due to tremors and fissures caused by the shifting land masses. Deep underground, the plant matter was subjected to heavy pressure and heat of magma. It gradually turned into coal. That's a gross oversimplification of how coal is made. Same for fossils. Everybody is under the misconception that fossil fuels are derived from like dinosaur matter and stuff like that. No, 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 no. Plant matter, I mean, animal, animal remains don't, don't turn into coil, don't turn into oil don't turn into fossil fuels that's plant matter um the best you're going to get out of an animal is fossilization you know we have the, the fossils of dinosaurs and things like that no 
Our fossil fuels are derived from plant matter. And no, it's not because they were flash fossilized and turned into coal because of fissures and earthquakes. Everyday plant matter buried long enough underground will turn into coal, kinda. Again, it's a gross oversimplification of the whole thing on how it actually works. But no, the, the fuel, the gas used in your car and your lawnmowers and stuff is not dinosaurs. It's, it's plant matter, if even that. Barry! Zubit. God, I wish we had an electric attack. That's so dumb. I forgot that raising Shinx was a pain in the ass. It's Looker. Looker the Hooker. I'm a grown up. What is this building? They really expanded uh, going from now I'm just going based on how it feels like to me. I don't have any actual factual evidence of this without doing the legwork, but it feels like when it got to the DS era of Pokemon, like with Diamond, Pearl and Platinum specifically, it felt like there were more buildings to go inside of than previously in previous games. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but it feels that way. It seems that way, doesn't it? That there were just more buildings to go in. We have a quick, quick claw now, which is great. Let's give that bad boy to somebody. <laughs> I'm choking on my own spit for no reason. Oh, we're broke again. Damn it. Do, 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 do. I can't even afford one single repel. Nah, we need to find the, um, what's your mahoos that, that gives us money. Forgot what it's called. What's the item called again that you hold and it gives you money? I can't. Being up this early has not helped my brain at all. Amulet coin. Well, I don't have anybody to register because we are playing on an emulated game. Do, 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 nobody tell Nintendo. <laughs> I 
I thought for sure they'd talk to me if I walked up here. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, did you get that email, by the way? You should have gotten that email from Nintendo. Yeah, that was really something, wasn't it? Yeah, see, that's something that's going to be a problem going forward. How do we, we will definitely have to be really careful about passing legislation that protects, because we already have laws that protect endangered species, but what do you do about protecting and de-extinct species? That's a whole other can of worms. They kind of touched on that a little bit in the Jurassic World trilogy, not as much as I would like for them to have. Um, it raises a lot of moral and ethical questions if you distinct a, a species and bring it back. Um, depending on how long it's been gone from the earth, there could be, uh, problems. Like, here's the thing. If you brought back a woolly mammoth today, it's not suited to survive in this climate, in this environment. So you would specifically have to keep them in certain areas of the planet it's like when you go to the zoo and you see a like maybe you see a polar bear at the zoo but you're in like fucking i don't know kentucky and it's like 108 degrees outside and that poor polar bear looks absolutely miserable like it's gonna kill over and die so humans aren't exactly the smartest somehow they're smart enough to clone a dead animal back into existence but we're still not smart enough to understand you can't keep a polar bear in the middle in the in the continental United States. It it, it uh, make it make sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh god damn it! Well, it gets it it, it, it ooh, I'll get heated if I think about it too long. I hate zoos. I I don't like zoos. It's Team Galactic. But I'm, at the end of the day, I'm not necessarily against bringing back extinct animals under certain conditions. It's just, you have to be able to do it morally, ethically. You have to be able to care for the animal as a species. I mean, why are you bringing it back just for our own edification? Is it a matter of doing it just to see if we can? Is it a matter of like, I just want to look at it because it's pretty? You know what I mean? Like, why are you bringing it back? Again, it's this, this was all in Jurassic Park. It's, <laughs> you know, this was, all these concerns were brought up in Jurassic Park. It's like Malcolm said, you were, your scientists are so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. And I think that's something we should definitely, that's a question we should answer before we just randomly start willy-nilly de-extincting different species. Because that, that particular species probably was more acclimated to like the last ice age that we had and probably wouldn't do very well today. So... We are officially fam now. <laughs> oh wait, that's her Piplup. That's not my Pokemon. I don't get to choose. I was sitting here wondering, why am I not getting to choose the second Pokemon's attack? And then I realized that's Piplup. I've been poisoned. Well, if I let you faint, that won't help return be any stronger in the future. So return. Go, Starly.
quick attack. No! Wait, that might actually work out. That means that Starling won't get any XP, but Shinx will get it all. Okay, never mind. I buffed out. He buffed it. Yay! Learn Spark! Learn Spark! Learn Spark! Hot damn. Our electric Pokemon actually has an electric attack now. Get your bowl cuts out of here. Get them haircuts out of here. Ninety percent of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Yeah. Well, that is the plan, Don. I would like to travel around and get all the badgers. By the league. And... Yes. That is the goal. Oh. A Jim Bob Farmer here want. Ooh. Fashion case. I'm poisoned. Crap. That's where we're going to wrap things up for today. This is a pretty good first episode for Pokemon Platinum. I've been thinking about starting this playthrough now since last week. We're not done with we're not done with Soul Silver. We still have a ton of stuff left to do in Soul Silver. Hell, we even still have stuff left to do in Pokemon Sapphire, and that's a GBA game. <laughs> we still got to do all the contest stuff for Sapphire. So. We're going to be running these playthroughs consecutively. We'll bounce around. Uh, we'll probably do Sapphire more this week. I mean, uh, well, we could do Sapphire this week. It probably would be a good idea to go ahead and bounce back into Sapphire and uh, knock the contest stuff out. So, all right, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'll be back later this evening at some point. It could be 10 minutes from now. It could be five hours from now. I don't know, but I'll be back on Twitch later this afternoon see you folks